loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Farms. Check it out. President gave us a present for Christmas. It's the President George FCC. I was shocked when this showed up in the mail. I have been waiting for this thing to come out, and it has arrived. It has arrived with a bang, I'm sure. It is AM. It is FM. It is sideband. It does have CTSS, which is one of the features that y'all asked for when they came out with the McKinley AM FM sideband. Well, here we are with a totally new radio. Now, the George has been sold overseas, but this is the George FCC. This is a totally different radio, although it may look similar to the one sold in Europe. We get to go ahead and unbox this and play with it and check it out. I'll go through most of the features and functions. I'm sure I'll leave something out accidentally. But let me go ahead and read off the back here that it has got it all. I mean, holy cow. Well, no, I'm not even going to bother with that because that will bore you to tears. Let's go ahead. Let's get this thing out of the box. Let's check out what it comes with. It's heavy. I was surprised when the package arrived, I picked it up, and you can tell that it's a heavy girl. And I like that. Put that there. And here we go. So we have a manual, and it is a big heavy manual here too. Let's see, what, how many pages in English we have here? Looks like it is 20 pages in English, so I'll have to go through that to get all the features and functions. Of course, it does come with our tried and true President number one CB sticker. And let's see what else we got in here. I'm excited to be able to play with this thing. So we have our mic and our little holders here. It does come with a double bracket, you know, like the more substantial bracket so we can angle this thing, which is good. So for me, I'm gonna be using this as a base station. And so that'll be perfect so I can set that up on the table. Then we do have our power cord, standard power cord. And here we go with the President six pin mic. It does have the channel up and down on there as well, so that's kind of nice. And then the main unit. This thing is heavy. Maybe it's just, I'm, maybe I'm losing it. Here it is, the George FCC, and it does have a nice chrome band around it. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see it when we get close up and start doing our checks. Uh, case, anodized aluminum. This is different. There are vents along this top row here. There are vents. Now, of course, in the back, it still has a massive heat sink, so that's really nice. They do have a good heat sink. On the back also, our power plug, our PL259 connector. We have speaker out, we have PA, and we have Vox. So a lot of connections going on back there. This thing's pretty well, pretty well set up. Bottom firing speaker and more vents. More vents on the bottom too. The sides look like they have hookups for both those uh, screws to hang our bracket. And then it also has some holes on both sides to add the mic clip if you want to do that. Of course, the front is where the money is at, and it's got it all. It's a large display, and boy, is it shiny. That is a good looking radio. It does have a USB output, it looks like. Clarifier, of course, channel up and down, volume, squelch, the works. I don't know about you, but I want to play with it. So what we're going to do is move the camera over to the bench. We'll get this thing hooked up and we'll go through all the features and functions that I can think of, <laughs> and then we'll see, at the end, my thoughts. Let's do it. All right, my friends, well, it is time to turn it on, and let us do that right now. First start. Wow. We have RF power out, hello. Hello. We have RF Power Max. We have Mic Gain Max. So we have all these things going on along this, and that's just showing us. So I do love that. Of course, we do have our megahertz listed here, our voltage, which is kind of a nice treat to have, and then our channel number as well. And so I'm loving it. So incredible. 
incredible. A lot of buttons here. Here's our clarifier. And of course, channel up and down. And a lot of channels are active today. Awesome. As you can see, a lot of this stuff is listed here. Uh, mode 1, PA for mode here. CTS, uh, CTCSS and DCS is here. Memory is here. Scan, dual watch, and skip scan. <laughs> ANL, noise blanker, and high cut. RF gain, mic gain, and emergency numbers. So you can type that in. Instead of having 919, we've got that. Uh, we have a monitor and call box CB w, uh, WX, so weather radio, and pretty awesome. Talk back and function and lock. So let me get the manual. We'll go through all of it. All right, so I guess the first thing to show you is that if I press the push to talk and then I press the channel button, well, now I can change my RF power. You can see, I can turn it way down or I can turn it way up. I'm going to leave it at max for right now. Pretty darn cool right there. That's a good way of doing it. Then we have our mode switch here. We'll go ahead and get into that. Changing our mode here is pretty simple. AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, and then back to AM. That's pretty standard right there. But then we also have PA mode. If I press and hold, we're now in PA. You can see, press and hold again, and we can get rid of that. All right, memory. If I press this button real quick, you can see memory has now been activated. This allows me to save up to four different channels in four different modes. So I could have channel 19 AM, channel 38 lower sideband, channel 16 upper sideband, and channel, uh, you know, let's say 4 FM. And that would all be in an easy to go through selection. You can see M1, M2, M3, M4. So that is how easy that is. Let's go ahead and we'll program a few of them in right now just to show you. All right, so the next one I want to show you here is memory. Let me get to, I like channel 16 as our local channel. So 16 AM, I'm going to press memory. I'm going to press and hold one. And now M1 is my AM 16, right? Let's go up to 26 FM. We'll change the mode to FM. I'll press memory again, then I'll long press. Cool. Now M2 is, uh, is that. We'll go up to 36. And we'll go 38. We'll hit memory. We'll hit our mode again. We're going to change the lower sideband. We're going to hit memory. We're going to long press. Now M3 is loaded in there. Do you get the idea? This is really a cool feature that we have here. And we'll go with uh, channel 5 back on. Now let's do channel 14 on AM, memory one more time, and there we go. So now I have programmed these four channels as my like go-to. Doesn't matter what mode I'm in currently, if I press that button, it's automatically gonna switch to the other mode that I need to be on for that particular channel. And it's kind of a, it's, I like that. That's a pretty cool feature. It's one that probably, um, I don't know that I've ever had another radio that does that really. So it's kind of cool. And if you wanna get back to those, then you just hit your mem boundary and, now we're in AM, right? Hit it real quick, right? And that's how you go through it. So a short press and a short press brings you to any one of those particular channels. That's how easy that is. All right, the next function you have here is the CTCSS slash DCS control. A lot of you wanted this feature in the McKinley and President listened, here it is in the George and it's ready to rock and roll. I will say that it's not a feature that I'm going to use. I just don't see the need to having those lockout codes for communication locally, but it's there. If you want to get into it, it is only available in FM, so you have to switch to FM, program in your codes, and then a long press here on the mem button will bring you to the CTS slash DCS code, CTCSS slash DCS codes. So that is there as well. And, you know, hey, President listens. I'm always amazed that of all the companies that uh, produce CV equipment right now, when, when you talk, President hears you. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, next up, we're going to go back over here to AM, and we're going to turn our automatic squelch control on. You can see the light come on, and we have scan. One small press, and we get into scan. You can see it's starting to roll through the band. And if it finds a good enough signal, well, it's going to stop on it. And it has. And it's probably the guys over on channel six. When it loses that signal, it will then continue the scan.
If you want to get out of that, all you got to do is push the talk. Now you've broken your scan function. It brings you back into wherever you're at. I'll turn the volume back down for a bit here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to do a dual watch. I've changed it over to 36 lower sideband, and I'm going to show you if you press the function button and then press the scan button very quickly. Oh, somebody's talking on nine. And so when it comes off of that, it will go, and you can see the dual watch is activated. As soon as that person stops talking, it should switch back and forth between the two channels. See how it's going between 36 lower sideband? Wizacho has somebody talking. <laughs> I picked a heck of a day with Skip going. It's kind of hard even with Squelch all the way up to switch back and forth, but you see what I mean. And you can press again, and it goes into regular scan. Press to talk, and we get rid of our scan function altogether. This is probably my favorite feature of this radio, and, and I've talked about it in uh, the McKinley too because I was so excited to see this thing. But this also has a skip scan function. So let's say I'm listening to the radio. We'll go into AM here. And there is a channel that's just driving me crazy. In my case, it's going to be this channel right here. As you can hear, it's absolute garbage going on here. So if I was on a scan, we'll go ahead and hit scan. You can see it'll roll through the channels. And when it gets to a channel that just driving me crazy, it's not a channel I want to listen to, but it's a channel that is blasting. And that is usually in my area anyway, 6 and 11. They just sometimes they'll just drive you crazy. So we get to it. You press and hold. And you press that. Boop. And there she goes. Now it's out. It's locked out that channel. I can get rid of 11 too. Press and hold. And now it's going to skip that channel as well. A lot, of, a lot of stuff going on, so I'll turn that down. But as you can see, when it goes back around, if I could get off of it here, they would skip over those two channels. And I think that's one of my favorite features of this, this new scan. Like I've always said that we need to have scan on modern radios. Well, they've taken it a step farther by giving a skip scan on this thing. You see how it skipped over 5 and skipped over 11. So there you go. That's how that works. A pretty darn cool feature, if you ask me. Over here, this is an easy one, right? Analog, let me get out of scan. Right, we have ANL, we have noise blanker, we have both. A long press will bring up high cut, and you can have all three going if you'd like to. And I'm gonna leave it on there actually because it helps cut down on the static. Right on, so that's a, a, I like all those features. High cut actually works pretty well on these radios. Okay, and then we have our emergency channels from the factory. We have nine and 19 programmed, but you can change those. Although I'll be honest with you, the fact that we have four programmable channels, really there's no need to do that anymore, but that is kind of nice. So channel nine, channel 19. Somebody's talking up a storm. And that's been around forever. Lastly on this, so let's go to, uh, let's go back to 16, right? So I have automatic squelch control on. If I wanted to hear it, I could cut through the squelch and listen to it. Press it off, it goes back to its regular mode there, so. It's just a way of bypassing the squelch controls altogether if you just want to monitor a specific, a specific channel. And then we have Vox and noise gate. I don't have a Vox, uh, you know, microphone, earphone set up here, but that's how you get into that. You can see that it allows us into it. I'm going to get out of that if, if I can. And you can set your levels for your noise gate there. All right. And then we got CB. Let me turn the volume up here. We'll... We'll get that off there. Of course, we do have weather alerts and weather channels. There we go. One thing I'll say about that, and it, it will drive you or scare you, is if you press and hold that, you can activate while in weather mode, you can activate the alert. I don't like the alert, so I leave that off. 
Now, the alert will only go off if you're in CB and there's a weather warning that's being issued. So just something to be aware of there is that, that that'll get you. Now we also have this noise reduction control here. You press that, it turns it on. It's just another way, a, a fourth way on this radio of controlling the interference on modern cars. Let's say you're alongside a Tesla at a light, they may cause a lot of interference with some of these modern cars, especially the electrics. And so that's just another method that they have for cutting down on background noise, cutting down static, and amplifying the good signals, the stuff you want to hear. Of course, we do have our clarifier down here in the bottom. I'll go over to, uh, we'll get into F uh, USB. We'll go into lower sideband. Let's take it down to 38. We know that that's usually active no matter what time of day it is. Incredible. Someone from Trinidad. Incredible. So clarifier there. It does not have a course and a fine. That's kind of an interesting feature, but it doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, messing with anything. It was fairly easy to lock in a signal. All right, we'll turn that down a little bit. Okay, so it does have a talkback feature. Turn that on and you've activated talkback. Of course, you can adjust the level. If we uh, if we key down on the mic, we can we can change the level of talkback. Hello. I don't particularly like talkback, but some of y'all out there really enjoy that sort of thing. So I guess if you're into talkback, well, it's got it too. I'll turn that off for right now, but it does have it. I, I mean, think about back to the 90s and the 2000s when that was something that cost 60 or $70 and needed a whole lot of soldering to get installed on your regular old-fashioned radio. I think that's pretty crazy. And then we do have a lock here. This is our function button, but it's also our lock. You press and hold, and you can see a lock comes up. Now we can't change it, right? See the error come up. Press and hold again, and that goes away. All right, lastly, we, well, I say lastly, there's still a bunch of features in here. We press and hold the channel button, and we get into our function mode. We have different microphone styles. We have PA settings. We have skip scan. We can turn that feature on and off. We have our scan type. How long is the delay going to be? Scan mode, what type of channel? We're doing a channel mode scan. I'm not sure what that one is. <laughs> Roger beep. Oh, come on now. We gotta have that Roger beep on. And we have some choices there we can go through. I am a fan of the original. We'll put it on one, press that again, it goes off. Key beep, we're leaving that one off, but if you really want to hear the beep, beep, beep sound, you certainly can do that. Tone control, so if you are in a vehicle and you think that it sounds a little bit too much, you know, too tinny or too bassy, you have some adjustments there. It's kind of a nice feature. We have a dimmer, so if you're driving at night, you can dim that down so you have a better view of the road. And colors, thank the Lord. Look at that, we've got all kinds of colors here. Ooh, I like the green. Blue, purple. This says yellow, although it's more of a greenish yellow. Pretty awesome, huh? I think I'm gonna leave it at green. I kind of like that. Maybe not, actually. I don't know sure you guys can see that. We'll put it back on blue just so y'all can see. And then we have a reset all. Voltage protection, if it goes above 16 volts, we got problems. SWR protection, if it goes above three, we got problems. Volume accessory, this one, they're coming out with something. I'm not gonna get into that, but it's something to wonder about for a little while. They've got something on the horizon. Call set, so our CTCSS slash DSS, this is where we're gonna get in here. Span setting, we can, we can actually uh, fine tune in the frequencies to a lower numbers if we want to. Dual watch set, if I wanna change that to 14, which is probably what I'm going to do. And then emergency setting number one. Yeah, I'm gonna change that one as well to 14. Code set, again, CTCSS slash DSS, uh, noise reduction setting, so we can change that around to get the best possible noise reduction. And then if we want to, let's go ahead. It is checking our SWR right now, and I've got a flat one because I'm using an Antron A99 for these tests, and that thing is perfect right from the factory. 
so you can see that it has it has transmitting and it is checking and it's wonderful and if for some reason the wire got hit or who knows what happened i, I weed whacked into the wiring and cut it and I had a massive fault this thing has that swr protection and that would save us from burning up something and then we're back to the mic so there you go my friends let us take a few minutes and what i'm going to do is just listen to it let's get out of here let's give it a second i'm going to turn this the uh, noise blanker off here Break channel, break channel for a radio check. There's that digital signal again. I don't know, Dar, any of you getting that signal? It's coming through on a few channels, but this is probably the clearest I've heard it so far. Real curious as to what's going on there. If anyone's uh, notified the FCC that somebody is transmitting high-speed data over over analog CB band stuff. Uh, not that I'm against the idea of trying to do some digital packet stuff with CB, but I don't believe that uh, it should be bleeding over into multiple channels. It is the president, George FCC. I would say it is a worthy, worthy radio. I'm really, really, really impressed with this one. I love the extra features. I love the extra screen display here with the three bars that we have. It's pretty much got it all, and it is performing really well. I mean, I'm picking up some really good signals tonight with this thing. Anyway, I guess that'll do it. I want to thank uh, Joby over at President for working with me again here in 2024 or just about 2024. And for the rest of you for being followers here at Farpoint Farms, it's been a, a great ride. And I hope that, uh, well, I hope to see you again 10 years from now. Take care, my friends.